Republicans are losing one of the most conservative voices on Capitol Hill. South Carolina Senator Jim DeMint surprised a lot of people today when he announced he is leaving the Senate, but staying in Washington to run the conservative Heritage Foundation think tank. Senator DeMint joins us tonight. Thanks for being here. Great to be with you. Why are you doing it? Well, uh, if you look at the 2012 election, it's apparent that conservatives need to do more to convince Americans that our ideas will make their lives better. And unfortunately, in the Senate, a lot of what we have to do is just point out bad policies of the president. And that's an important job, and I've done a lot of it. But my whole background is developing ideas with research and marketing, marketing them to people. And the idea of going to the Heritage Foundation, which is the premier conservative think tank in our country, and, and leveraging their assets to uh, communicate to all Americans that we can make their lives better, uh, this is a dream job for me. And it's critically important. I don't think Republicans will win another national election unless conservatives first convince Americans that our principles work. And then hopefully Republicans, independents, libertarians, and maybe even some Democrats will embrace these conservative ideas if Americans believe that they're the real solutions. What do you say to your constituents who say, wait a second, he was my guy? Mm -hmm. I'm still that guy, and frankly, a lot of what I've been able to do that people back home appreciate, like help elect some good conservative senators and, and stop bad things such as earmarks, has only been because I've gone outside the Senate and taken my case to the American people and created pressure back on the Senate to do the right thing. And I think I can do a lot more of that at the Heritage Foundation, and that's what we plan to do. To that point, I talked to you back in September of 2010 about the Senate and how it worked. Take a listen to what you said back then. We don't have enough people standing up to stop the spending, because that's what drives the culture here. You couldn't name a program we've cut in your lifetime. Uh, we keep piling one program on after another. And a lot of them pass by unanimous, unanimous consent when nobody's looking. If you say no, you get calls from somebody who wanted that money. So people just after a while just say yes. But this yes we can president, yes we can Congress is destroying our country. We need more people who will say no to this expansive government and this debt. So you were one of those guys saying no. Right. I mean, you, you said no just this week on the Senate floor. Uh, and I'm, for I'm, the I'm conservatives been... <laughs> out there who say we're losing, to your point, the guy who was saying no on the floor, well, well, what do I, you say to that? Well, I, we're leaving the Senate a lot better than I found it. And now I'm sitting next to uh, Marco Rubio and uh, Pat Toomey and Rand Paul and Mike Lee and Ron Johnson and now Ted Cruz and Jeff Flake, all people I've gone out and uh, worked with Americans to elect. So there are a lot of champions inside the Senate now that can do this uh, no job for me. And I want to cover them. I mean, basically, I want to help them by going to the American people and asking them to support these people when they say no, but also when they say yes to the right ideas. And so I think I'm in a more powerful position than a single United States senator. I wouldn't feel good about leaving if we didn't have so many new, bright, young conservatives now in the Senate. Uh, but it's time that conservatives take control of our message and let Americans know what we can do to make their lives better. Uh, re Republicans hadn't done that good a job as a party doing that, so we need to take the control of the message ourselves. There are people who agree with that. Uh, Eric Erickson thinks that that's the case. You could be more powerful there. But we had hundreds of emails, thousands of them actually, after we broke the news at 10.30 this morning. Sheila was one of them. She said this, what a disappointment. He's cutting and running from the Senate. We don't need Senator DeMint at the Heritage Foundation. They are a think tank. They don't pass laws. Senator DeMint is leaving the Senate for his own personal wealth. He's a coward, deciding to stand with the observers and not the doers. What do you say to Sheila? Nothing passes in the Senate unless there's pressure from the outside. I've been in the House and the Senate 14 years, so I've given a lot of my life to this. And I want to elevate what I'm doing. Um, I can stay in the Senate, but I never intended to make it my career. I've told folks I wasn't running again anyway. So I, I am looking for a place where I can make more of a difference. But we will not win uh, the 
hearts and minds of the American people if we leave things the way they are. We've got to do more. The Heritage Foundation is the most credible research idea group in the country. And they were my inspiration to run for office. They've helped me develop a lot of the policies that I've worked on. Now they have Heritage Action, which is out, out there generating support for, for our ideas from the grassroots. So uh, I hope uh, in, a, in, a, in a year that some of these critics will say, well, that was the right thing to do because we're changing things. Let me ask you quickly about these negotiations. You've been critical of House Speaker John Boehner right. uh, and what's already on the table, what he put out the table, the $800 billion of uh, tax deductions and closing loopholes already, mm -hmm. not even dealing with possibly raising tax rates. Right. Uh, what do you say to the people who say, listen, the president won re-election. Right. Republicans have to do something mm -hmm. in order to get a deal. Well, actually, he won the status quo, and Republicans all ran on keeping taxes low. But the facts are this, Brett. We will have historic levels of tax revenue come into Washington this year. We don't have a revenue problem, and the government doesn't need to take more money out of the economy and give it to incompetent politicians and bureaucrats. That's not going to make the middle class or anybody better off. The problem is we've double spending over the last 10 years. And if we keep taking more money out of the economy, we see how that works. You can look in California. You can look at Detroit. You can look at Obama's policies played out at the state level and in Greece and all over Europe. There's no place in the world they were working or have ever worked. But you can point to a number of states where governors like Scott Walker or John Kasich or Rick Scott are employing conservative principles and they are attracting businesses, they're creating jobs. Um, O'Reilly did a great segment on comparing Texas and California. That's part of what I want to do at Heritage, is showcase the successes that we're having. But for Republicans to concede that we need more revenue, in the context of not reforming entitlements, not reforming our tax code, and the President wants a blank check to borrow as much money as he can in the future, that's nuts. We should not negotiate with ourselves, and we should stand our ground, and we have the power as a majority in the House. Uh, and this idea of a physical cliff... The Democrats, Senator, say that the argument was made in the election, mm -hmm. and it was won on their side. Well, it didn't win in South Carolina, and it didn't win in the majority of the states. And the Republicans who were elected were won those elections running on limited government and less taxes. They shouldn't give in to that because the principle is wrong and the president doesn't even have a serious plan. His idea of raising taxes will run our country for a few days. All it is is a political trophy to the left. We need to do what's good for America despite what he's been able to sell the media, but taxing the rich is not going to help the middle class. Are you going to run for president? I'm president of the, Fer uh, the Heritage Foundation and that's the job I want. Senator <clears throat> DeMent, thank you very much. Good luck. Brett, thank you.